Hey, uh, good morning everyone. Welcome you all again in PD Academy by Dr. Pankaj. Myself, Dr. Pankaj, and today we will discuss very important point. As you saw uh, at thumbnail, we'll discuss how to crack NEET SS Pediatrics. It will be valid for INISS also, but specifically I will focus on NEET SS exam, which is upcoming in few days or few months. You can say two to three months are remaining. So I will give a strategy of which is uh, sure short in this uh, short period of time. So without further delay, let's start our discussion of this exam. Okay. All you have seen this uh, the bomb of notification of national board which states this need SS 2025 exam will be on 7th 8th November 2025 and the timing period basically they are saying 9 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 4:30 p.m. because uh, basically it will be in two shifts. Okay so this is the notification of exam so uh, by interpreting this exam countdown has been started because this is a race against time this is competitive exam highly competitive exam so we have to analyze this okay approximately 90 days are remaining means approximately three months uh, from uh, now onwards okay so uh, as we dis as we discussed we have uh, seen this on 7th and 8th november exam is there okay what are you up against so you are up against 150 questions in 150 minutes they haven't released prospectus uh, yet but this is expected uh, of uh, out of them 150 questions in 150 minutes okay so this will be broad specialty focused questions from all pediatric subspecialties will be there no uh, special weightage has been mentioned in the prospectus though some bias are there okay this exam will be pg exit level high difficulty with clinical scenarios as we saw our previous discussion of neat ss 2024 paper it is mixed paper and multiple eligible broad specialty features exam format okay so this is basically overview of this exam but what competition looks like in this exam just see this approximately uh, 2500 aspirants are there which are serious okay so you have to compete uh, in like 2.5k of aspirant but you have to beg around top 120 rank because generally most uh, good colleges and good branches are under this uh, 100 less than 100 you can say 120 or you can say 150 uh, rank otherwise you can get uh, around 200 250 but this is like sweet spot of 100 to 150 okay so as we uh, discussed just now uh, 2.5k approximate total competitors are there it this uh, number may vary available seats for top 20 it is like uh, 120 it is just a uh, gross number it can vary according to a seat matrix but approximate selection probability of last uh, three four exams we calculated it it turned out to be 4.8 percent okay this is very much actually uh, lens for this exam and targeted score it will depend but generally will need a 450 plus score in this exam okay so uh, you can't go below 450 it can go beyond that okay so 96 of out of 100 students will not make to their dream institution the difference between success and failure isn't just hard work it's plan so just i want to emphasize on that this is a uh, very tough competition just one question can make difference just one wrong question can make a difference just one silly mistakes uh, can make this difference my role is to aware you all these uh, plans and how to actually prepare in last three months okay just see for that we have to see actually subject priority and time allocation distribution which is very much important okay so we will divide subjects into three categories 
फर्स्ट हाई प्रायोरिटी मीडियम प्रायोरिटी स्टैंडर्ड प्रायोरिटी ओके सो हाई प्रायोरिटी यू हैव टू डिवोट योर 60 परसेंट टाइम बिकॉज दीज आर एरियाज विच आर मैक्सिमली आस्ट सो वट आर दीज सब्जेक्ट सो सब टॉपिक्स न्यू एनेटोलॉजी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट pediatric cardiology they are actually in uh, previous ne tests there were uh, there are many questions from pediatric cardiology pediatric nephrology is all time favorite of examiners pediatric gastroenterology because it is huge branch contain pediatric gastroenterology hepatology so many questions are expected and pediatric hemat oncology because this pediatric hemat oncology uh, is a uh, upcoming thing in a uh, few days exam weightage percentage we have calculated uh, based on last three exam so this is gross number not exactly 14.3 but you can uh, get a fair bit of idea neonatology 14.3 cardiology 12% nephrology 11 gastro 11 and pho 11 so these are high priority subjects you have to devote your 60% time in this uh, uh, listen you are uh, preparing for neat ss so you have to make your own plan because of, after all you are all pediatricians but time allocation i can tell like 10 days you can give to neonatology 9 days to pediatric cardiology 8 days to nephrology 8 days to pediatric gastro and uh, hemat onco you can devote 8 days so uh, in this week like uh, week 1 we can go for neonatology week 2 week 3 week 4 week 5 this is completely demo plan you can modify in this plan but i am telling you what are the high priorities key focus areas you have to actually <coughs> focus like rds hie sepsis premature teen neonatology cst arrhythmias heart failure in cardiology glomerular disease aki ckd in pediatric nephrology pediatric gastro ibd hepatology and nutrition that is nutrition part and uh, pho leukemia anemia bleeding disorders similarly we'll go to medium priority pediatric neurology around 9% pediatric rheumat around 8% infectious disease around 5% recently infectious disease questions are more seen which are actually overlapped respiratory uh, neuro part you can uh, give approximately 6 days to pediatric neurology 5 days to pediatric rheumat and infectious yes 3 days are sufficient week you can decide in which week uh, this is a demo time table so i uh, just uh, put here week 6 7 7 8 8 9 uh, seizures and development and delays are main focus areas in pediatric neurology but this is just to uh, just two areas basically there are many areas we'll discuss them later gie vasculitis and connective tissues are in pediatric rheumatology infectious disease tropical infection and immunization and standard means you uh, you can give less time but you can't leave them pediatric endocrinology just to read dm thyroid growth disorders it contain 4% approximately of share genetics yes don't skip this just single gene disorders chromosomal disorders down syndrome turner syndrome you have to read and pediatric critical care specially sepsis protocol shock protocol pals protocol you have to be aware of so this was gross distribution of subjects because we have to see which is important which is less important accordingly you have to make your own plan because every uh, mostly you will be working in uh, like uh, departments so you have to make this plan accordingly but this is allocation okay then how to prepare what is the method should we read nelson or should we do anything so i prepared a matrix which is actually applicable to every exam be it neat ug neat pg neat ss and any exam okay uh, first thing textbook if you are able to read textbook thoroughly with comprehensive coverage of all pediatric concept and clinical scenario this is best case scenario but it will take time approximately to read nelson it will take 1 to 2 years thoroughly okay so if you are starting uh, if you are uh, reading nelson thoroughly so this will be good to go you are good to go but if you haven't read nelson fully or exam point of view neat ss exam point of view 
point of view next is practice caution bank regularly so <clears throat> practicing caution bank gives you advantage but this also takes around six months to actually uh, grasp everything because you have to go through multiple things next in this this comes like effective test series okay so test series are very much important in this they simulate exam condition comprehensive test series to build confidence in exam strategies basically when time is limited you don't want to waste your time on uh, i want uh, i forgot one thing video lectures video lectures okay so let nelson <coughs> second video lectures if you can uh, see them again it will take time and third is caution bank and fourth is test series so video lectures are not feasible at this time i, I will not advise them to uh, see video lectures just three months before exam caution bank yes you can do but it is you can do concentrated form of caution bank that is effective test series look in test series examiners or anyone put good questions so in these questions uh, like uh, they are having high probability here Pareto principle 80 percent and 20 percent uh, will apply your exam will be out of 20 percent of important questions so in test series these 20 percent questions are uh, actually repeated so this was gross plan from my side i have a very important announcement and i'm proud to share that i have started very much affordable okay very much affordable test series of need ss pediatrics 2025 on this i'm launching my this site okay i welcome you all in this pediaacademy.com you can find there this test series which is at very affordable price okay so uh, because three months are left i'm giving you concentrated extract of all possible mcqs which will cover your pareto principles like uh, 20 per, uh, 20 percent syllabus will contain 80 percent of need assess questions okay so what this test series looks like okay this test series will contain 12 modules basically it is divided system wise okay uh, like gi system like uh, cvs system so 12 modules are there okay 40 question in each module just see this is daily test series okay so you have to if you are pediatrician or you are preparing for need as pediatric you have to study for at least 8 to 10 hours so this is daily test series of 40 questions in 40 minutes because it is actually pure exam oriented the subject will be divided into sub topics i'll discuss how it is divided six grand tests so these tests are specially curated for you uh, and these are high probability of asking in exam this will contain pyq of previous three four five years also and we will uh, give you detailed discussion okay so uh, this is actually uh, 84 days of learning three months and 100 percent approximately you can pay syllabus coverage we will do just to uh, show you the demo uh, or our first module okay so our first module will be on gastrology and hepatology okay so on 11th of august we are doing esophagus and stomach questions 40 questions on this topic on 12th august we are doing celiac disease malabsorption and ibd questions on 13 august we are doing small and large intestine 40 questions 14th august hepatology part 1 15th august hepatology part 2 and 14th august we will do table discussion of gastroenterology okay so uh, and table questions of table discussions will be available okay so all your tables are covered and 17th of august this is it is for revision actually okay every alternate sunday we will uh, go for grant test okay because gra attempting grant test is also important 
so this is my 12 week long test series every day is packed except sunday on few uh, weekend otherwise sundays are also packed with grand test series so this will give you advantage of doing test series which is effective and uh, this will contain 80 almost 80 percent question not directly it can come in any way so it will be very effective and it is trust me it is very much cost effective actually uh, i uh, talk to uh, my team and they uh, i make them i told them to make this very very cost effective for students so now i am giving tour of my website pediacademy.com here you can see interface and when you scroll down you will see the list of courses that is test series need pediatric 2025 i have created a trial version also okay so in the main version of this uh, test series you have to apply promo code that is launch 25 and you will get 25 percent of discount in existing price so it will be very affordable and uh, i will give you a uh, two days free trial of this course because this course creates so much value then you can uh, see this through trial course and if you feel like you have to purchase you need to purchase it you can purchase it by main course okay neonatology fast track revision series is there so in this uh, uh, trial course we have set two days of uh, you know, free course okay so uh, there are many uh, things which are like yes esophagus stomach celiac disease malabsorption ibds so this are free okay so we are offering a exciting discounts this is valid for seven days only you have you will save 25 percent on these course like uh, you have to use coupon code launch 25 and you will get uh, 25 uh, 25 percent discount instantly so uh, this is uh, just grab it because it is uh, available and it is uh, not it is not costing uh, much of you just it is costing like uh, two three meals of you okay so uh, transform your knowledge and of pediatrics today join our pediacademy.com pedi and uh, remember success is equal to is uh, preparation into opportunity the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is practice your dedication today determines your success tomorrow so again i welcome you all in my pediacademy.com uh, to take this test series and uh, pre uh, enhance your preparation I will be available all for you in YouTube and this uh, site also. So let's uh, join this and we'll meet in like uh, this different discussion of these topics later.